Masa Alanijad, it should be a progressive hero, exiled and in hiding from Iran's assassins since 2009. She's a ferocious critic of the Islamic Republic's brutality and its war on women. Instead, she's often on the receiving end of criticism herself, being accused of Islamophobia for opposing the compulsory hijab. Iran has faced massive protests this year after humanity police killed a 22-year-old woman who refused to wear one. Well, she talks to me now, so great to see you. Thank you so much. You're Pleasure. a hero to so many of us Thank for you. the way that you stood up to this. We talk a lot about human rights. There's very few places in the world where there is a bigger assault on human rights and women's rights than Iran right now. We just woke up with the news of executions. I mean, mm -hmm. there was a little girl, which I just published a video of her on my Twitter account. She was begging the Islamic Republic officials in Iran not to execute her father. What happened? They did. Two young men got executed for the crime of criticizing Islam and Prophet Muhammad. And then they call me Islamophobic? Come on. As a woman who grew up under Sharia law, that showing my hair is a crime can get me killed, I, I mean, I had the right to be scared of Sharia laws, to be scared of Islamic Republic. And be honest with you, uh, phobia is irrational. Mm -hmm. My fear and the fear of millions of Iranian women, women of Afghanistan, of Taliban and Islamic Republic is rational. And we're seeing the same thing in Afghanistan, where that overnight, shameful overnight yeah. fleeing by, led by America from Afghanistan under President Biden, led to total chaos, a lot of deaths, but also basically threw millions of Afghan women back to the Taliban walls. And we're seeing the same thing there. My heart is broken because I see that now um, the news about women of Afghanistan being fade out, mm -hmm. the news about the women-led revolution in Iran being fade out, and people think that everything is over. But women are in front line and chanting women life freedom they want to overthrow a gender apartheid regime. I was actually talking uh, to people here in the UK, and I wanted to get the public opinion, the attention of British women mm. and men that think about it. A day that women are being kicked out from a stadium, mm. women get uh, killed for showing their hair, getting arrested and raped for singing, for dancing. What would be the reaction of the rest of the world? Mm. I mean, if, if it was not women of Iran, if it was not women of... Uh, the Middle East, women in the UK get kicked out from a stadium. What would you do? What would FIFA do? You know that... It's a gender apartheid regime. Completely. You know that by saying all this, you're putting a bigger target on your back all the time. Do you worry about that? I mean, to be honest, as you hear me, I'm very loud against terrorists. I'm not as scared of them. But let's be very honest. It's a scary when you see a man with loaded gun in front of your house trying to kill you. The Islamic Republic hired three Russian mafia, and they were trying to kill me on US soil. The FBI arrested them. Right now, they are in prison. But it's scary, but at the same time, I'm not carrying any weapon. I'm only 45 kilos. That actually shows you that the Islamic Republic, they are scared of me and millions of women like I me. I think they are. Yeah. I think they are. And I feel that Iranian women, they're beginning to realize their own power, perhaps, collectively. Oh, yes. I mean, Iranian women, they are my heroes. Mm. Thank you so much for calling me hero. But my heroes are in mm. Iran. Actually, they know that they're facing guns and bullets. Some of them get shot in their eyes. They're blinded. But they say that you can take our life, you can take our eyes, you can take our bodies, but not our hope. We are here to end this regime. What more should the West be doing? Particularly maybe Western women, perhaps. That's a good question. That's a very good question, and that's why I am here to meet with the members of parliament here in London mm. and inform them about what's going on in Iran. It's not about us trying to just save ourselves. The Islamic Republic is a threat to democracy. Mm. And we are actually risking our life to protect democracy across the globe. And I'm not just claiming that. Right now, the Islamic Republic sending drones to Putin to kill innocent Ukrainians. But how ironic that the woke left attack you. <sighs> I mean, this has been my issue with them about women's rights generally. They're on the wrong side of history yeah. with all this stuff. I mean, I still have hope that I can actually convince them that this is the right time that you have to support us. Because, look, the Islamic Republic actually hired killers here to kill journalists from, uh, you know, the Iran International biggest TV, Persian TV broadcasting here. They were the target of the Islamic Republic. So you see, if you don't support our fight against Islamic Republic, 
you have to face the terrorists mm -hmm. on Western soil. So clearly, uh, what happened in Vegas, it says that they, it's going to stay in Vegas. But what happened in the Middle East, in Iran, it's not going to stay there. It's going to infect the rest of the world. Here in the UK, they are being paid by UK government uh, having Islamic center. For what? Let me be very clear with you. Uh, British people are like British weather. They're not predictable. But the Islamic Republic officials, they are predictable. They are here not to express themselves. They are here to expand their ideology, to, uh, you know, uh, to, to uh, sponsor terrorist organization, and they are here to kill innocent Iranians. That's why I'm asking the UK government. I hope I can meet with the um, UK prime minister as well. Rishi Sunak, yeah maybe the king, <laughs> to convince them that this is the time that my, my people are risking their lives to protect democracy Masa, everywhere. you're an incredibly courageous lady. It's great to have you in here. Your passion rings through and your courage rings through. I hope people are listening and watching. Thank you. Thank I you. appreciate it. I hope one day I'm going to invite you to my beautiful country, Iran. I would love that. I know it's a beautiful country. Thank you so much. Uh, it's good to see you. Thank you very much indeed. Pleasure for hosting.